Just making a quick video on this new Jack Energy MC4 to 8mm cable. So this is, you know, if you've got a Jackery, especially one of those new Jackery Pro models, um, you know, you, you hear a lot of people talking about, you know, proprietary solar connections and stuff like that is, is kind of a, a negative. But, you know, basically this is the cable you've been waiting for. This, this cable will allow you to use MC4 and go right to, it. basically, look at it. It's basically a direct copy of the cable that Jackery is using and providing, you know, whenever you buy one of their solar panels or, or solar generator bundles, right? So if we actually take a look at this thing, you see that it's the same exact design. And it has both versions. It has the newer thick pin and it has the older style that basically will, you know, work with any of those older Jackery uh, power stations. And then also there's a ton of other brands that have used that, that same kind of connector, right? Um, in fact, they provide a little bit of a chart here Let's pull it up real quick. Take a look at this. You know, it's not just Jackery that was using this, right? We got Goal Zero and we got Anchor. We got Blue Eddy. There's, there's a lot of kind of other like budget brands as well that have used this, right? And, you know, that's kind of one thing a lot of people would say about having these eight millimeter inputs is that, you know, basically it's a proprietary connector, right? Especially with Jackery, like you got to use the Jackery solar panels, which are very expensive. <laughs> as you know, like, 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 look at this thing, like, this is uh, 700 plus a little bit of a coupon there. Still though, $560, right? I mean, that's, that's a lot of money just for one 200 watt panel. With a cable like this, basically it allows you to use any solar panel that's, you know, any solar panel that has MC4 on it, right? You can, uh, you can hook this up. And, and the nice thing about it too, is it's not just these rigid, you know, kind of older, you know, residential style panels. Basically we're seeing a lot of portable solar panels go on MC4 as well. So this is just gonna definitely give you a ton of options. Like check this out, this is the, the Growatt. This is one of my favorite new ones that's on the market because of the price here. I mean, look at this, this is, this is so this is over $200 less than the Jackery, right? And uh, it's a new product, but it looks, you know, very high quality. Obviously, I don't have any actual hands-on data with this, but if you actually just take a look at this listing, it looks like a very high quality option. And it does come with a bag and stuff like that. Now we'll talk about, Kind of, you know, Jack, the, the Jackery solar panels do kind of still have a few advantages. We'll talk about that in a second. But when you're talking about price, you know, it, it's going to be hard to, to beat a, a price that's almost half half what the Jackery is, right? And then there's other there's other ones too. Um, this is another option. This is kind of the, the, the cheapest one I found. A little over two hundred dollars with that coupon, and basically you can get like two of these for the for the price of one of one of the Jackeries right now. Now the quality with this is kind of a little bit more of a question mark, right? Because we're this is a we're unfamiliar with this brand, but the Jackery solar panels do have their advantages, right? These are very high quality, very nice panels. The thing I really like about them is that magnetic closure that kind of keeps them it holds it together when you fold them up, right? So that can just make things a lot easier. And typically, you know, the output on these panels is very very good you might get a little bit more you know comparing a 200 watt jackery to one of those other 200 watts you might get a little bit more with the jackery i wouldn't expect it to be a huge difference and then you know one of the things you know the reason that jackery actually uses these is because you know the connectors are just so easy to pop in and out right that's kind of the the whole thing with jackery and the reason they actually use the eight millimeter because you can pop these things in and out and it's just you know super fast where if you do go the mc4 route you know basically it's a little hard to disconnect those so you want to get something like this and i would recommend getting um there's you know there's a ton of brands that make these but this this one seems pretty highly rated but i would recommend getting one that's that's metal right if you're going to be kind of using this a lot because they do have a lot of plastic ones but you know it's going to break and the nice thing about this design is basically if you're familiar with mc4 you know you, you insert this end um goes into where the the clips are the to kind of disconnect it and as you can see you insert it in and then you push it a little bit farther and you know it gets narrower and it basically it just squeezes those little pins in there and it'll pop it right out like real quick so it'll make it almost as easy as the jackery stuff and then you're going to get be able to use like i said any of these other solar panels that you want right so yeah, basically no more proprietary connections for, for Jackery, right? E even the pro models with that thicker pin. This is this cable will kind of give you the solution you've been looking for and use any solar panel you want, basically, right? So, um, you know, one last thing for people to complain about Jack, you know, people are always going to complain about something with Jackery, right? <laughs> but um, one last thing, one last thing they can uh, complain about. So, yeah. So, yeah, something to definitely uh, take a look at. And hopefully you've just found this video interesting or helpful. And, yeah, thanks for watching.